Ephesians chapter 4, 17 to 19. I was reading this, I found that there is another word that we normally compromise on it. Ephesians chapter 4, 17 to 19. And we normally uh, think we are Christians. So out of my experience this ka, week, ka ki li ke, I was checking my integrity. Ne ke chi ma ho, ka. Right, integrity. Are maleng, integrity because integrity is sincerity. Sincerity. You have to be sincere. Uh, there's no integrity without honesty. The reasons why God cannot raise people. Integrity. So, a person who's having integrity is a person who's reliable. A person who's honesty. And also trustworthy. Unfortunately, you cannot trust people. Because you have been betrayed several times. You are surrounded with people who don't have integrity. I don't know if you are here. So even those who have integrity, we judge the same and many times we fall in the trap of the We still have people who are liable. But out of your consciousness, you have been channeled to judge people the way you think. So, what is important is, is integrity is demanded from you. Not from them, from them. Because when we talk about honesty, it's judged from your own sentiments. A small cup cannot fill the room. So even yourself, you know your limitations. That is integrity for you. So when we read here, we see, we understand that uh, Paul was teaching this church because this church was a powerful church. A church, a church that pray. A church that, that is the only church he taught them to pray. And showed them what they are fighting. So he said, number one thing is, you cannot live like the unbelievers. He was teaching them integrity. He said, you cannot live like unbelievers. Because they live in the futility of their mind. In other words, what is full in their mind controls them. Whatever that fills their mind, the utility of their mind, is the thing that controls them. I just want to show you this. This is such people, their, their moral understanding is darkened. In other words, even when you bring a light to them, they are still in the dark. Because, because morally, in fact, they are not ethical. Because people are supposed to be ethical, right? 
are darkened. And the Bible says their reasoning is clouded. In other words, if their reasoning is clouded, what is clouded? The reasoning is there. But it's, it's clouded by darkness. It's when they start to reason deep, ah, it reaches to darkness. And it says, they are alienated. You know this word, alienated, is coming from an alien. They are, they are of another country. They, they are of another, let me say, planet. Okay, planet. So don't be surprised people behave somehow because you are not living <laughs> on the same planet. And self-banished from the life of God. And with no share in it. Why? Because they are willing fully ignoring the truth. They are willing fully and Bona. they are spiritual blind. So, so these are the people that moye. Paul was telling Ephesians. That you don't live like them. Because these people here, they are, are, are self-banished themselves. They took a decision and said they want to live this way. Look at this another thing. It says, within them, because they, they because of their hardness and insensitivity of their heart, they are willfully ignoring and they are blind spiritually. Today, you cannot run away from people like that. You can try to make them to understand. Them. But look here. And they are godly in their spiritual apathy. This is what I wanted to read. Having become colorless and unfeeling, have given themselves over as a prey to unbridled sensitivity, sensuality, agilely craving the practice of every kind of impurity. <laughs> These people here, they are self-banished. They've decided to have their own craves. They've decided to have their own craves. They've decided to have their own craves. No one can stop them. Did you ever live with people that cannot be reprimanded? Because they have decided to live that so, way. So, ask your neighbor. Have you not met people like this? Okay, look at this one. I'm saying it, I'm just want to read it again. It says, they say, uh, Having become colors and unfeeling, have given themselves over a spray. What would you pray for such kind of a person? Because they have given themselves over a spray. They are ready for the pain. They are ready for, for the joy they <laughs> But we are called for integrity. We are different with them. When we look at them, we are surprised. They walk this way. They sleep there. They eat this. They drink this. They have given themselves. Even when you try to speak with them, you are, you are of different planets. There are some people you will never preach to.